Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Don from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And the next time you need a part for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the exhaust manifold and catalytic converter on this 1998 Honda Civic. Pretty much the same process for the Civics from 1996 to 2000. You'll need a new manifold and catalytic converter assembly from 1AAuto.com, 10 to 14 millimeter sockets and a ratchet with an extension, a 7 8 O2 socket, a piece of pipe for leverage, torque wrench, jack and jack stands. If you have trouble with your O2 sensor, you can use uh, clippers to clip the wire and then use a regular deep 7 8 socket to remove the O2 sensor. Start off using your 7 8 inch O2 socket to remove your upstream O2 sensor here. Just put the socket onto the O2 sensor and then with a ratchet and an extension put it down into the socket and remove that sensor. Once it's removed just set it aside. If you can't get your O2 sensor off with your O2 socket there is always plan B. Just cut the wire on the O2 sensor and use a regular 7 8 inch socket. If you are forced to do this, you will have to buy a new O2 sensor. And then you want to remove these two 12 millimeter bolts. Now you need to remove these nine 12 millimeter nuts. And we'll fast forward here. Um, we doused them with penetrating oil, let them sit for a little while, uh, and now we're just removing them with a socket, ratchet, and extension. Now right here, there is a 14 millimeter bolt. Just go ahead and remove that. Under the hoses on this bracket, there's a 10 millimeter bolt. Go ahead and remove that. And then pull those hoses back once you have that bolt removed. Now lift your vehicle and under here, you'll see your downstream O2 sensor. You wanna use your O2 socket and just remove that. And once it's removed, just set it aside. And again, if your O2 socket isn't working, you can always cut the wire and use a regular one, but you will have to replace the sensor. Next to where your downstream O2 sensor is, there's these three 13 millimeter nuts. Go ahead and remove those. You can see we doused them with penetrating oil. If you break these off, it's not too big of a deal because the uh, new manifold and catalytic converter assembly from 1A Auto comes with new studs. Once those bolts are removed, you can maneuver your catalytic converter up and out. On the right is the old catalytic converter. On the left is the new one from 1A Auto. You can see that the gaskets are exactly the same and the catalytic converters the heat shield's a little bit different, but they'll mount exactly the same. Before you can install the new catalytic converter, you need to first remove these two 12 millimeter bolts so you can get the shield off. Next, you need to remove this 14 millimeter bolt, securing this bracket to your old catalytic converter. And we'll 
fast forward as Don does this. Now to remove this lower gasket, just use a flat blade screwdriver and pry it out. And then put your new one down into place. Pull off your exhaust gasket. And put your new one into place there. Just take the nuts off the studs on the bottom and put them aside. Then lower your manifold and converter assembly down in. And make sure that you line up the lower studs into the exhaust pipe flange and get them in place. And then once you make sure those are in place, then line up your top ones and push the manifold on. And I'm just going to keep kind of fast forward here as Don puts all the nuts back in place and preliminarily tightens them. and use a torque wrench and torque all those nuts to 25 to 30 foot pounds. Take the bracket from your old catalytic converter and bolt it to your new catalytic converter. and then replace the bolt from that bracket into your engine. And we'll just fast forward as Don tightens those up. Reinstall the heat shield with the two 12 millimeter bolts. Reinstall your O2 sensor and tighten up the O2 socket and once you have it tight, reconnect the harness. Place the 10 millimeter bolt underneath those hoses and tighten that up. Now under the car, replace those three 13 millimeter nuts. And again, tighten these to 25 or 30 pet foot pounds, maybe a little more if you need to. And then twist your O2 sensor into place and tighten it up with your O2 socket. Reconnect the harness and attach it to the bracket and you're all set. We hope this video helps you out. Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet.